everyone, George from ZenHub here with another two and a half minute tutorial. This video is going to cover some of the things that we've shipped over the last few sprints. Be sure to hit subscribe so you can get all of our latest videos. All right, let's start with planning poker. We heard from a lot of scrum masters and team leads that they wanted a faster way to assign their team to vote on an issue. So we did that. When you go into add members to vote, after you pick your team for the first time, you'll see them show up right here and you can add them all with one click. And then we also heard from team members that they wanted a better way to know when they had issues to vote on. And so now ZenHub will automatically add a comment to your issue at mentioning the people on your team. And this ties into GitHub's built-in notification system. So they'll get an email and everybody will be on the same page with what you need estimates for. Next up, automated sprint planning. So in the video about automated sprints, you probably saw me go to the velocity report to figure out what my team's velocity was. Well, we have that data, so why not just put it right in the dialogue? So there it is. So I can immediately see that, ah, my velocity is around 50 points. We should always add what our velocity is. We also heard that you wanted to be able to rename your sprints. This allows you to put in a sprint goal or anything you want. So just click, and that's it. Down in the lower right-hand corner, you probably noticed the beta tag. The insight panel gives you at-a-glance progress of where you are in your sprint. It also calls out scope change and tells you what your velocity is. We'll be continuously adding new insights, so make sure to check it out on a regular basis. Finally, it's kind of bright in here, right? Let's fix that. Dark mode has come to ZenHub and it is beautiful. So now your eyes can rest. I know it took a little while, but we wanted to do it right. Check out the blog post linked in the description below for a behind the scenes look at how we created a new design system that will actually help us move faster in the future. With all of these new things, you'll find that you and your team will spend less time planning your work and more time doing work. Simple, right? Yeah, it is. See you next time.